Well, in the front of the Land Rover is where it says Land Rover. Uh huh. I actually want to put Easy, easy Jet. jet. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you have Easy Jet, you have the Beast, the and beast. you have. Uh, you have more? I got one more, which uh, I mean, at the moment is the Camel. <laughs> that okay. It's got to find another na another name for that the one. The Camel. And then I got another, and I got a van. <laughs> Rompada! Rompada! Sejam bem-vindos ao 29 episódio. À medida que isto vai aumentando, vai ser cada vez mais difícil dizer estas palavras, que é o 30, 40 e depois o quê? 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. Mas 60 vai haver aí uma temporada um bocado mais. Que venham os patrocinadores das Sex Shops yeah. e a gente faz o sexagésimo episódio. Yeah. Acho que vai ser dessa maneira. Uh, antes de começar, já agora, este episódio vai ser em Goiás, mas uh, quero agradecer aos nossos parceiros que estão aqui na Madeira e então tenho que agradecê-los em português, faz todo o sentido. Uh, quero agradecer à Wish Lab Consulting e à Boho Chic que nos proporcionou uh, esta mandala e está-nos a proporcionar esta, estas boas energias para esta temporada. Quero também agradecer à Tulipa. Estamos aqui rodeados de flores e plantas que nos fazem lembrar a primavera. E também quero agradecer à Red Bull, que continua a nos apoiar nesta temporada. E também à Barreirinha Bar Café, Antena Três Madeira e Diário de Notícias. E claro, ao Estúdio 21. O Estúdio 21 sempre presente em todas as relampadas, porque sem o Estúdio 21 não havia relampada, não havia cenário, não havia câmaras, não havia este áudio maravilhoso. Uh, obrigado, 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 obrigado. Muito obrigado, mas uh, let's change the language now. So this will be an English episode because our two guests are international, international level, you know? I like it. Uh, so uh, I'll start with uh, a photographer, digital marketeer, web designer, creator of Humans of Madeira. It's true. Originally <laughs> from Strasbourg, France. Ben Benjamin 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 yeah. Benjamin Benjamin <laughs> Make some noise Yeah 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 Thank you Thank you for whoa, having whoa, me whoa, whoa. And my other guest a tour guide a YouTuber owner of Hit the Road Tours Madeira originally from Johannesburg South, South Africa Jeff yeah. Gouveia Woo, woo, woo. I Thank prefer you. to call him Jeffrey Johnson yeah, Jeffrey, Jeffrey Johnson, Jeffrey Johnson. <laughs> himself Uh, so, guys, thank you for being here with me. Thanks to you. Absolute pleasure. Uh, so, before we, I, I shoot the, 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 first, uh, the first question, I have here uh, Red Bull, you know? Yeah. It's our uh, uh, sponsor. Much so appreciated. That's is, that is the, the normal one. This is the sugar-free one, awesome. which is always important. So, Chin Chin. Chin Chin. Good times. Yeah. In French, it's Chan Chan. No? Chin Chin, <laughs> same. <laughs> So, since we're now caffeinated a little bit, uh, my first question for you both uh, is how do you guys see the future of Madeira as a place for people to work remotely? <laughs> we're getting into the, the nomad question like straight yeah. up. I mean, <laughs> Benjamin is like a, a nomad of some sort because you're from France. You've been here in Madeira for how long? Uh, 11 years now. 11 years? Yes. Okay, but do you consider yourself a kind of um, digital yes. nomad as well? Because you Somehow, work for... Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind so, of. Uh, at least I understand them very good, yeah. And uh, how do you see the future of Madeira? You, you, you think that uh, Madeira can be a place of uh, people uh, to, to work remotely? Actually, actually it, it was a place where people used to work remotely uh, before. I don't know if lots of people know, but lots of companies before have uh, some commercial force here in Madeira. And uh, it trends to stop a bit. Mm -hmm. They all went away when the, the tax went a bit... Uh, a bit up? Up, like everywhere in Europe. Of course. And for, for me, I think that the, the nomads and digital marketing, it's actually the future of Madeira because Tourist is one thing, but bringing people who live, pay tax, uh, live in Madeira all year is much more interesting. And I think Madeira should do a big effort on that by trying to bring people like that more. 
and how is it working for you from uh, these 11 years? Do you feel like home now? Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm even married now with a oh, Portu yeah? Portuguese woman. So yeah, yeah, I feel, uh, yeah, yeah. It's my my second home, my adoption home. Yeah. <laughs> cool, cool. And But, we're glad uh, that you're here. With yeah, us. thank you. So, very nice. What about you, Jeff? What do you think about the future of Madeira? <laughs> the tourism is changing, right? Well, yeah. I mean, um, obviously, everything that is digital is gonna be is the next step, obviously. It's the next the, generation. I mean, yeah, the internet is bringing new opportunities. It's bringing all sorts of new ideas and new philosophies. Um, I think that this first stream is something that I don't know how long it will last because a lot of the people that I think that are coming here now are nomads. And nomads move. Yeah. By definition. It's somebody who, who has no home their hat is is where their home is kind of thing so i think the majority of the ones that we have now here are ones that are maybe passing through i think we will get some people you know that will stay um but at the same time we are seeing at, at least online we're seeing a lot of people that are moving here mm -hmm. they're asking all these questions how can i buy a house where do we live where can I live by the sea and still have transport, but out of Funchal? These kinds of questions are all coming up on Facebook, on the groups and things. So there are people coming. And I think Madeira obviously has everything we need. We've got like super fast internet. We've got great air. We've got all the banking systems. Everything is globalized, you know, the, all the, the information and whatever. So I think this nomad that we're having now will be temporary but uh, you know i agree with ben that obviously there will be people working here because madeira is now a little bit more on the map because bali used mm -hmm. to be the place that everyone would go all the americans and they'd all go to bali and i think madeira is the bali of europe yes is that what you're yes saying? and because for nomads, yeah. and for the first time you know in a very long time it got it appeared on a list of safe places and people said Madeira what is that and they started looking at it and now it's kind of on the map and and to conclude with what Jeff said I think like Madeira have everything to seduce those people in, in particular because they they work for home they need they like to have a free time to practice a sport or uh, go by the nature or mm -hmm or do uh, surf, things like that. And Madeira really have everything to seduce those people so they can stay more than any tourist would do and participate to the local life in the same time. So it's like, I think Madeira really have a big card to play in this, uh, in this area, for sure. And what seduced you to come to, to, to Madeira? Was it love or was it no, no, completely no, no. different work related? I was really lucky because I came uh, with a job already because it's one of my friends created his company here of, of digital marketing mm -hmm. and he invited me to join as, because well, I was good in marketing already, but like to build up together the, the thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I came, I came in this context. It was like, I was really lucky because I came to Madeira with a job already. So it was like full bonus. <laughs> yeah, because you already had a job and suddenly uh, you're in paradise. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it, uh, it was like that. <laughs> nice, nice. And yeah, what yeah. about you, Jeff? Jeff, you have a Madeiran family. Uh, <clears throat> so um, how, was, how was the transition to come here and choose Madeira? Uh, well, you know, uh, yeah, it was... Uh, definitely. Uh, It, it was very different to what I expected. Mm. Um, it's funny because I always kind of considered myself some kind of a black sheep back back home, you know, all the, <laughs> the with with the Madeirans, no, uh, you know, because the Madeirans back home um, are viewed as a... are very similar. You know, mm. you know, you could very easily put them in a group, uh, and I always felt like I was a little bit off of that group, you know, because. Uh, I liked uh, heavy music and, uh, you know, I, was, I had a lot of English friends, you know, um, in, in a way. But um, when I got here, I, I kind of, I felt like I was less of a black sheep than all the Madeirans here in Madeira. <laughs> so, uh, so I was okay. like, Ooh, I'm here, you know. And, um, you felt like home. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, it took a, t it took a long time for me to, to learn how to communicate effectively 
I could speak. Why? Because uh, back at home with your parents, you spoke only in English? Or? Well, most of the time, yeah. I mean, I spoke to my grandmother in Portuguese, uh, my grandfather as well, but he passed away when I was 14 or 13 or 14. Mm. So it was only my grandmother. And, um, and even then, it was really bad Portuguese, you know. Because, uh, I mean, I was speaking 99% of the time English, so my Portuguese was like, oh, <laughs> it's really bad. So when I Figure. got here, yeah, and, and, and it's one thing speaking to one person, you know, it's another mm -hmm. thing speaking in a group. Of course. So it took, a, took a while. But uh, yeah, I got there and I had, I had good friends, you know, who taught me a lot of things. So. And how's your Portuguese, Benjamin? Yeah, uh, well, it exists. It's, uh, it's good already. <laughs> exists, yeah, it's good. No, no, I'm, I'm, I managed to sp to speak Portuguese for sure, but like for for example, today I want to go deep in conversation, so it's like kind of tricky. But yeah, it's a bit tricky for you. I can I can do my. Uh, the do basics. you find some similarities with French or not at all? Yeah, a lot, a lot, a lot a actually. Lot? Yeah. Uh, so no, so, sometimes, for example, with my wife, it 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 happened that some words come first in Portuguese, so I will say it in Portuguese and mix with everything. So. Ah, I see. But I see. Uh, then in public, no, and it takes two, two or three poncha. <laughs> ah, yeah. Por favor, uma poncha. Yeah, yeah, for sure get better. Uh, no, not with me, man. My Portuguese gets worse. Uh -huh. oh, really? Your Portuguese yeah, gets, gets worse, worse with poncha? With poncha? It's a Only with poncha? Or so no, really, with, with general. everything. You're really a black sheep, yeah. <laughs> So I lie to tourists all the time because I tell them that poncha makes your Portuguese better, but <laughs> what's the <laughs> makes it worse. I mean, it makes you more confident. It puts you more in a confident place, probably. Yeah. I mean, maybe too much. Maybe too much. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. I um, I already have a game we can play. Okay, I. It's called Splica Misto or Explain Me This. <laughs> uh, so um, welcome to Splica Misto. Andei a vasculhar as tuas redes sociais e vi este retrato. Explica-me isto. What is explica-me isto? Explica-me isto is when I go to your uh, social media and I find some pictures Oi. and I bring here to the conversation to see uh, what we can um, uh, speak about uh, the, the picture, you know? The, okay. the, the history behind the picture or why you took that picture. I'm nervous. Okay, so yeah. we'll begin with Ben. Yeah. Ben, I have a picture of you surfing. Okay. That's a good picture. So, were you a surfer back at home or did you just start when you were here, you were here in Madeira? Explain so... me why you love uh, doing, <laughs> because you have a couple of photos of you surfing and stuff. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a uh, it's, it's long, long story, not so long, in fact. <laughs> uh, well... When I was living in France, I was going on holidays in, um, on, on the sea, for sure. Uh, it's what we do uh, in France, because I was living in, uh, close to Germany, in Strasbourg. Strasbourg is close to Germany. So every summer I was watching surfers, like, wow, I want to be one one day. <laughs> and yeah, I think it's this thing when you start to be an expat. So you start, you, when you pack your life in two bags, I, I think then you can do lots of things. And... Then the surf, uh, I learned you, you can surf in Madeira, so I was like... I mean, yeah, it's the Hawaii of Europe, no? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's what they say. <laughs> and um, it was funny because at this time I was uh, also looking to build my portfolio as, big, uh, as photographer and I also do websites. Mm -hmm. And I thought mm -hmm. that the, doing a surf website, a surf school website, will give me great... Um, so when I, I booked my first lesson, after I start to watch the website of uh, of the the guys and the school, yeah, yeah, and I start to yeah make not kind of a deal, but we find an arrangement for me because to sell I your fish, as we say here in Portugal, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> in Madeira, <laughs> and uh, it, it's we start like that, and now I'm friend with Paula and Rodolfo since uh, ten years, and um, uh, it's it's also the the message is not always all about the money. Sometimes you want. It's about the patient, one old dream, one, uh, and it was really the case for that. And now I just like surf once in a while on Sunday, but I love, I love the, I love I did that and I love how I build it. And uh, it, because it makes part of like building your networking in the same time, uh, building my portfolio, do a, a old dream. 
and uh, it's like one of the best thing I did in Madeira for sure. And yeah. the best and the best place to to surf is in the north, right? In the north. Yeah, it depends. It depends. It but depends. Uh, for uh, beginner intermediate level, yeah, yeah, yeah. The the big surfer go on uh, Jardim, Ponta de Pargo. Ah, nice. But uh, yeah, it's one more reason to come in Madeira. The, the surf is awesome. Yeah. The yeah. surf is really good here. Not lots of, of people know, but it's a very nice wave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, very nice. Okay, yeah. so I have another one, but um, we'll uh, we'll uh, in include Jeff now. Uh, I have this picture. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> I have this picture of your. Uh, I, I mean, uh, that's a black of your sheep beast photo. of your beast. Um, yeah. Completely, uh, it's not stuck, correct? It's just no, uh, no, that's a show off of what the car can do. Is that it? Yeah, that's actually not the beast. That's uh, the easy jet. EasyJet. Yeah, some people. So might. you give names to your cars, is that it? <laughs> well, the, those those two particular cars got names. Uh, I don't I don't really look. They kind of just find themselves, you know. But I don't pu I don't purposely give names to my cars. But why EasyJet? It was orange. <laughs> ah, it was orange. orange. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that, okay. maybe okay. because of that as well. Yeah, it was uh, it was orange. In that photo, it's maroon. So oh, that yeah. that the EasyJet has even more of a story than than, than the beast than me and and the beast. Yeah, the beast has no real than you. Story. Yeah, because that car is it used to be maroon. It used to belong to another car, another company. It was a startup, and then it got painted orange. <laughs> then it came to me, you know, and and then I've made you know I just kind of made it a plus, you know, because a kind of that Jeep came to me uh, it was a guy who wanted to get rid of it it'd been in a crash so okay. the whole front was like in a mess and the guy's like please buy this car for me i don't need it i want to buy a van and i was like so you bought and uh fixed it yeah i was like it's orange you know <laughs> <laughs> what, Easy am I, jet. <laughs> what am i gonna do with this thing and, and made a good deal with the guy and uh it was great for my career because it was the first step that i made from employing someone for the first time that car and cool. uh because it was orange yeah i'd make uh, you know i'd play games with the tourists i'd tell them that we were in the easy jet when we we're above the clouds and you know that there was a parachute under the under the seat uh, and okay, that kind of okay. stuff and and slowly you know all my social media posts was the easy jet the easy jet, and everybody kind of got to know the easy jet so and you still got uh, got uh, easy jet on your fleet on your yeah it's fleet? uh yeah it's still uh, unfortunately it's um how do we say it's not on the road at the moment? Uh, coronas. Yeah, yeah. Of obviously, course. obviously, uh, giving us uh, tour operators a very tough time. So at the moment, it's kind of on the side and it's uh, getting ready to be painted because we got a new color coming out because uh, the EasyJet kind of got drowned out a little bit by mustard, some other companies. Then. Yeah. You're gonna paint all the cars mustard, mustard. mustard. So you have EasyJet now. It's the it, lamp the color. It it will be. <laughs> Yeah. It will be, it will be, uh, it will be um, uh, Easy Jet still the name. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> what it's I, not uh, orange anymore. Well, in the front of the Land Rover is where it says Land Rover. Uh huh. I actually want to put Easy, Easy Jet. Jet. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you have Easy Jet. You have the Beast. The and beast. you have. Uh, you have I, more. I got one more, which uh, I mean, at the moment is the Camel. <laughs> that okay. it's got to find another na another name for that the one. The Camel. And then I got another, and I got a van as well. Uh, a VW van, which um, I'm trying to get rid of. If anyone wants a van, please let me know. <laughs> <laughs> of course, okay. Can sell things too? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we allowed to. <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, you're free. Uh, yeah. Close free can, can, we, can we make <laughs> um, a plug? You know. Like... So I have another picture of you, Ben. Uh, oh. It's this one. You catched a rainbow in Funchal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which is quite interesting. I love that photo. I remember that photo. Uh, talk to me about the history behind this, and uh, and then I want to follow with uh, with a question about was Madeira the the place um, that inspired you to keep photographing or getting into photography? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so whoa. this is a great picture. <laughs> great picture. Man. That's very funny because it's one of those days that uh, I just went for a walk. I remember very good with my wife. And like just with no goal, it's really good to work with no goal. With uh, no goal, yeah. Just. And uh, I tried to forget my camera, and I have a rule. It's like like photographer know it's like always take the camera, even if you don't take pictures. And this day, I was lucky because it, 
it, it was this kind of weather, like this kind of of the year period, uh, winter time, okay. where you have like rainbows and it's sunny and and uh, I actually walk from forum to city center to find because I was seeing the rainbow and I wanted I have another picture of the same day uh, that I give to Casino because okay. the rainbow was like getting out just the sign of Casino. Aye, okay, and, um, okay. <laughs> and then I, I was like really running and I went down the, the park, the Santa Catarina, and I just walked down and I see the rainbow was really... Really, yeah. Yeah. Really yeah. centered with that uh, with that statue. Yeah, the, yeah, 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 yeah. It's and the um, Infant Don Henrique statue. Yeah. yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, Who is it? Who is it? <coughs> to. Oh. Punish. Bon dia. Say, <laughs> it's a quiet. It's a quiet. Good Jeff. <laughs> Say, será que podias me ligar daqui a uma hora? Okay. Obrigado. Obrigado, Ricardo. Tchau, tchau. So Jeff Sorry, is uh, Jeff is really busy, you know. Uh, he has lots of clients, uh, <laughs> so maybe COVID, maybe, COVID. maybe COVID ain't so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Please continue. Yeah, yeah, and uh, well, uh, it, it happens. Uh, Did you find the pot of gold? Because yeah. you know that uh, at the well, end that of was the, the goal. <laughs> but uh, well, uh, it happens once in a while that I'm not uh, someone who like to think too much in photo. Mm -hmm. But it's happened. It's happened once in a while. I really want a frame. This day I wanted a proper frame, and then the the composition up the stair. It was like just just perfect. And to answer your other question about uh, photography, yeah, I start photography because of Madeira. Yeah. And uh, okay. I was al nice. always uh, creative when I was young. I, I did graffiti paintings. Uh, oh yeah, because you have a background in painting. You yeah, yeah, painting, I was yeah. doing. But the the painting was a love hate relationship. How so? Yeah, it, it, it's like it because you you never manage to get exactly what you want in paintings unless you get uh, a, a crazy level. And at that time, I was really young, so I was trying, trying, and it, you get lots of frustration when the photo is more I find realistic. More more so instant, you were, like you were looking for the realistic side of. I, uh, I didn't look for, but he was talking more to me uh, when I start. Like the photography really catch me. The painting, it's me who want, wanted to be a painter mm -hmm. and never really managed to get what I want. When the photography really catch catch me, like invite me to. I felt it like that. Like I start, and then it's like going, going, going. Nice. And like what camera love. do you use? <laughs> Uh, when I started? When you started and now, for example, to see the evolution. That was funny because I was like, I, I started photographing the same time that, that Instagram was like uh, going, uh, going up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And I, want, um, I always liked social networks and I wanted to be part of the party a bit and say, okay, I want, I'm okay to start photography, but I wanted to do it a bit like, you know, the um, old school way. And it's one time I came back to my parents' home mm -hmm. in France, and I saw their old. I bring it today because you asked me to bring one. And yes, yes, yes. And I will uh, after we can see, but it's like a twenty euro camera nowadays. But it's uh -huh. uh, with film, and I say if I start, it will be with the camera of my parents and like that. So I start with film actually. Nice. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. very cool. And you yeah. still shoot uh, analog? You still shoot film? It, or it happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It but depends. I want, I want to come back because now I start a collection of uh, old camera, and now I need to give, ah. give them second life. Yeah, but I want. Nice. Yeah, I started like that, so for sure I will come back one day. Yeah. And now you use what camera? Uh, Nikon, full Nikon. Nikon. Yes. Okay. Sorry nice. for that. No one is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nikon is really big in in, in photography. You know, yeah. if you, if you want the versatility, uh, I love Sony. As you see, we if have I, four here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If I had to start today, I would probably go for Sony. That's another debate, maybe. But Sony is re really but getting I'm, big now. I'm really, I'm really satisfied with with Nikon. So. Very cool. Very yeah. cool. All right, Jeff. I have this picture of your <clears throat> old studio. Oh, oh, Jesus. So you have really, a background in really? mu music and we want to know 
because you're you're a drummer as well. Yes. You play the drums. Yes, love the drums. So yeah, this uh, th this was you, and uh, the description of this photo is: I need a bigger space. So, <laughs> <laughs> no, <for> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Uh, so and, talk to uh, me about how this uh, passion of uh, being a drummer uh, went, and uh, why have you changed your direction? Okay, so uh, so yeah, I wanted to become a, mus a musician for a really long time, um, and I still love my music. So uh, I've got a an original band that we are now composing and, and uh, making some pretty cool music, uh, actually, and we're writing fast as well as the way I like to write. What's music. the name of the band? Well, we don't have one. Oh uh, well. <laughs> You're still thinking. I lie, I lie, I Give lie. name to his car, but not to the band. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah you have no, names no. for your guns, but not your bands. No, I lie. We do have a name for the band, but it's uh, strictly confidential. Uh, I totally forgot about that. But so at some point it will come out. Okay. But yeah, I always wanted this. Uh, I wanted to play music. And um, <clears throat> I guess for a long time, you know, the reason why I really didn't, I mean, come in here made it very difficult as a drummer, you know, because a drummer living in Madeira is, uh, as many other drummers who are maybe watching this who live in Madeira know that it can be very difficult to play drums in Madeira. Uh, if you don't have a house, for instance. But it's not, it's a uh, house, yeah, yeah. yeah. Play yeah, the drums yeah. in Madeira. Yeah. If, because yeah, all musicians have, you have know. Have to practice. Have to, yeah. So practicing course. drums in Madeira is difficult, you know, I don't want to make an excuse or anything, but uh, I played a lot in a lot of great projects, a lot of great bands. Uh, a lot of big stages here, you know, played, uh, played... Uh, Summer opening, no? Summer Once, opening, yeah. uh, played a couple of, of arias and music festivals and been on RTP and all sorts of stuff. Mm -hmm. And at that time, in that photo, I was trying to um, get a little bit more serious into my music career. So I'd become a, a manager in mm -hmm. my tour company. Mm -hmm. I had people driving my cars for me. Uh, which is ironic, you know, it's all, I guess, all the phases of learning entrepreneurship. I was trying to get out of the car, you know, whereas I should have probably stayed in the car for longer. But that's all another story. So I was out and I wanted to branch a little bit more into music and I wanted to feed more money into it. And I wanted to kind of make it a bit of a side hustle, as people call it nowadays, to try and bring up the studio. So... I, I used what I could. I had a, a crazy fast uh, Apple computer that I bought because all of my business is online. So I thought I need to have a, you know, a, a monster computer. Yeah, a mothership, as I, as I exactly, call it. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so I bought this mothership, you know. I had an interface and speakers and I had a digital piano, electric drum kit and, and guitars and things. And I tried to bring musicians together and create some projects stirred the pot a little bit got a whole lot of people talking good and bad and um at the end uh kind of gave up on that because i thought you know what i'm trying really hard to do something that uh that maybe isn't for me yep. and I, whereas i know that the tour stuff is i'm good at it you know and and, and i love it as well and that's kind of the only reason why i'm not you know a full-time musician is because i want to uh i want to play what i want and um uh, I don't wanna. I don't wanna have to play something I don't wanna play. And it's interesting it makes... because the description of this photo is that you be, you need a bigger space, <laughs> and now your space is the whole of Madeira, <laughs> or the whole world as we can see. So well, yeah. You have now lots of space uh, <laughs> to well, spare. It's always there. I'm a pretty ambitious person, so I've got big plans still, even with tourism, even the way it is. Very nice. Uh, ben, uh, I wanted to talk to, uh, about uh, Humans of Madeira, this project yes. uh, that you have. It's not, uh, as you say uh, in the description of this project, it's not all about the, the, the landscape, it's about the people. Uh, yes. Talk to me about this idea and, um, it's, yeah. um, so and yeah. the people of Madeira. <laughs> what, what do you find interesting in us, Madeirans? Um, well, it, it, it was funny because I was... I was starting to grow my, my thing in photography. I was getting better, I, I felt. And I think it's, uh, again, it's this place of um, being a stranger, not in your place. Mm -hmm. So you think like, how I can not make friends because it's not the case, but how I can net do network. I don't like so much the world because it looks like professional networking. Yeah. 
but it's like Connect, really? connections yeah, is co connecting so yeah, people connecting with people yeah doing what you are good for so and i, I really sit one day uh, on, on a sofa and i think how oh, i can do to find a way that i ask people to take photo and they say me yes like every time and i, I think i think and i was calling on facebook like lots of days <laughs> And I saw one post of Humans of New York. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I didn't invent. Oh, there's there's a, a similar uh, project in New York. Didn't yeah, yeah, it's that. very okay. famous. And, okay, okay. And it's those projects always are started by photographer. That and they go in the street, they shoot people, photo, and they ask a quick story. Then I just like uh, turn it with my punchline, as you say, like uh, for Madeira, saying, okay. Let's talk not only the landscape, but also the people. The people, yeah. And that's, I start with my friends first, and I, uh, it was really kind of magic because it's, it's like that. I'm not so in to give... Uh, when I do photo, I do something I'm good for, and people uh, pay me to do that. So I'm not mm -hmm. so willing to give uh, freebie. I'm, I don't do reduction, but when I give for free, Mm -hmm. I want to do it good, so Humans of Madeira was, uh, uh, yeah, it was a good place to do that. And then, yeah, I just have to, I start with my friends, as I said, and uh, more I was giving time to the project, more it was coming, coming back to me good things. Yeah, and more work Yeah, as yeah, well. because when you give with no, like when you give to with give. With no second intentions, yeah. Yeah, 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 in this context. It's not the same that when you give uh, a free wedding photo report yeah, 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 to yeah, a yeah, friend yeah. because it's your friend, and of course, it changes a lot of things actually. And I say that for the and one it's something watch for you and because stop. it's a personal project of yeah, yeah, yours. Yeah, yeah, and and so and, and, and it's I a win-win situation. Exactly, and I still love to give uh, <laughs> with no intention, so because I have th that in me. So it was the perfect place to do that. I've met like great people. I've worked with all of, half of them after. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it was, was really good. And then I think it's not just Madarian who are interesting. It's like when you start to scratch on people, like when you start like, let's talk about you, your relation. Or, uh, you always find something interesting actually. And I, I even rediscovered some of my friends doing those, those interviews for Humans of Manor. So I even Very rediscovered cool. a story of, my, of close people. So yeah, it's uh, it's after surf. It's maybe the second thing, <laughs> the best I, I did. Here. Very cool, very yeah, cool. Yeah, I yeah. find it very interesting the project. So congratulations Thank on that. Thank you. Uh, it's, what? A, it's a bit uh, down mm -hmm. at the moment because with COVID, we yeah, of it was hard to meet people, continue the work, and in the same time, because I'm not alone, I'm with uh, another photographer in that, mm -hmm. um, and uh, Anna Pola Costa. Say your name, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so we had to, but uh, actually, I will publish one uh, tomorrow. So, oh, okay, so stay tuned it's and follow on, Humans of Madeira <laughs> on Instagram. And we want to do a book, I think. Uh, a book, yeah, that's, that's we very want to do, I think, yeah, because w when you came one time, two times, three times in Madeira and you want to bring back something, like you won't bring the map of the Levadash because like you came already, so you want to bring a book with the story of people and keep it. That's and completely. Smart. Yeah, I, want, smart. I think it will have great success. What do you think is the biggest difference of uh, Madeirans and uh, people from your 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 home home place, hometown in it's France? It's not so much because like French are really proud, and I found Madeirans too to be proud of of their yeah, 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 okay, yeah. Okay. But uh, it, I don't mean it in a bad way. Like it's nice to be proud of your roots and you where you come from and. And if I was born in Madeira, I would probably be the same. <laughs> so, yeah, I, w I would say proud. So we're proud people as our co French cousins. Yeah. Very nice. Okay. And you do good. <laughs> so we have another game before we, we, get, uh, we get to Jeff and his uh, Hit the Road project and the vlog and everything. So this one is called Ne Pressão Under Pressure. <laughs> Under pressure. <laughs> <laughs> so, So this game is, I give you two options and you have to answer very quick on what option you choose. Okay? okay. So at the same time. At All the right? same time. Yeah. Okay. So, 
under pressure. Okay. Okay. So, be ready. <clears throat> north or south of Madeira? North. North. Fast, fast, fast. <laughs> north. Okay, north. It's easy, man. Too easy. Too easy. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I think uh, F- Funchal uh, people, Santa Cruz people, really, <laughs> yeah, Ibera just, Brava doesn't agree with you. But I told <laughs> you I'm good at pissing people off. Man. I just pissed off 90% of the population. Oh, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Sorry. Okay, okay, it so for what, but be ready for the next one. <laughs> Beach walk or hiking? Hiking. Beach walk. Oh, okay. Different, uh, different perspectives here. Okay. He's a surfer. Yeah, of course. <laughs> He's looking for spots. <laughs> <laughs> okay, be ready. Spring or fall? Spring. Spring. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so thank you, Tulip, for yeah. bringing his uh, know, Mad- spring vibes, you know. Madeira, Eternal Spring Island. Eternal yeah. Spring? Yeah. That's the I don't do one. Uh, I don't like the cold, man. So, uh, fall, fall's pretty as well. But Prettier than the uh, winter. I, I, I warm, mean, when, when it, uh, when it uh, snowed yeah. in the peaks, I mean. It was, it was pretty. Were you in the snow? No, 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 no. No. I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, curio- no curious at all. Oh, no, 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 no. I've no. seen too much. <laughs> oh, you've seen too much. Okay, so that's why. That's why. Okay, next one. This one is difficult, I think. Sunrise or sunset? Sunrise. <laughs> no, I can't answer. <laughs> <laughs> I won't answer this one. Joker. <laughs> sunrise. I went on one today. It was great. No, I think, yeah, sunrise, yeah, because it's sunrise. the beginning. The beginning of the day. Yeah, yeah. Are the colors similar or a bit different from your experiences? I think uh, they're very similar, if not the same. Yeah. Okay. Um, In photography, is all always the same as well. You can. No, sunrise is better because it gives you more time up front. After the the sun came, you have more time to shoot. Actually. So sun sunset is like. But for the energy, sunrise all all the way. Yeah. Sunrise. No. uh, Well, which one's longer, sunrise or sunset? I think it's sunrise. No. I think it's sunset. For photos, mm. I think it's better to take photos of sunset than sunrise. Mm, I don't know. But I prefer the sunrise. Yeah, me too. And uh, I love. I discovered that in Madeira. I love the, the one of the best feeling I had. It's to go on a pico arriero on sunrise. Oh. Start your day like that. Oh, yeah. Six hours. Come yeah. back in Funchal. It's it's warm, and nice. you start your day. People are just waking up, and you uh, you had one of the best show. <laughs> you you start your day like full of uh, it's wow. one of the best feeling. Yeah, very nice. What about yeah. you, Andrea? Sunrise, sunset. I gosh to do a main sir, sim. Gosh to do a main sir. Sim. Pronto. Mas uns anos atrás gostava mais do yeah, sunset. Those sunset parties, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> sunset parties. Back in uh, the days. <laughs> with Red Bull and uh, yeah. Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. On the beach, and everything. so yeah, yeah. Okay. Mas eu acho que o mais romantic. Okay, okay. So it's more romantic. Uh, sunset, sunrise. I mean, mm-hmm. sorry. So the last one. I think this is difficult as well, but I mean, depends on your taste. I'm, I'm really so. good at making fast decisions, man. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all of all of my decisions Look are you. fast. <laughs> all of them. So. Okay. So, Madeira wine or Coral beer? Madeira oh, wine. Coral. But there's one coral, okay. So, <laughs> so again, hiking, you know, yeah, after a long yeah. day. Is it too uh, easy, and then, man? Too and easy. then at the beach, of course, no, it had to be coral. Yeah, know? yeah, yeah. No, it's it's more that uh, anything, but not Madeira wine, sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, you don't like Madeira wine no, that much? No, no, no. Okay, okay. It's way too sweet. Is that it? No, to, uh, I don't know. I don't want to shock anyone. So of course, <laughs> but I mean, you like coral, so that's that's. No, I'm French. No, with wine, we are a bit like. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> okay, so this was under pressure. Ne Very good. Okay. So, um, <laughs> Jeff, uh, talk to me about hit the road, <clears throat> and now you're a YouTuber. I mean, you're a YouTuber for a couple of years now, but uh, what changed uh, oh. now, and what is your Objective with uh, hit the road uh, tour uh, with the hit the road vlog, and uh, yeah, s- t- talk to me. Cool. So, um, so right. This, I mean, I'll try and make this as, as short as possible because there's a really long exit strategy for me. This is a exit exit stra- exit strategy. Okay, yeah. okay. So there, this whole thing is an exit strategy. But um, you know, so I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking much longer. You know, long term, uh, long term, yeah. of course. But, um, yeah, uh, I've been making videos. Um, I wouldn't call myself a YouTuber because when I started making videos, it was to promote the business. Mm-hmm. So what I do is 
is I had a camera and I'd film the clients and I'd get in, I'd ask them questions, you know, how was your day? How did you feel? You know, then I teach some things and then I gave cameras to my drivers and we made this, uh, we'd make a, a second, how do you call it? Bi-weekly, bi-monthly, bi-monthly, I think it is. Mm -hmm. Every two weeks, we'd make a video. Every two weeks, bi-weekly, yeah. I think it's bi-monthly. Oh yeah, bi-monthly. Yeah, but anyway, uh, yeah, it's weeks. bi-monthly. Yeah, for sure. We'd uh, mm-hmm. we'd release uh, we'd release a YouTube video, and it was all these clips <clears throat> mashed together and very amateur, you know, very amateurish, and uh, that came to a very quick halt when I went to America. So I went to. Oh yeah, you went there. I went to America in uh, 2017. Uh, One month. It was just over a month, five weeks. Over, okay, okay. We had loads of family there. So uh, I'd made it a mission. It was one of my goals was to to, to cross the Atlantic, you know, for a long time. So I, I, I managed to find a way to do it, and I did it. And it was very expensive and well <laughs> worth it. But once when I learned a couple of things there, and one of them was that, you know, this, this thing of the show, you know, the Americans are so good with the show. You know, I'd watched adverts and i'd watch like game shows and it was all like fireworks and like you know not a cent saved it was all like you know so i thought right i gotta come back now i gotta change strategy now we're gonna start making videos day videos so i started making a video of one day only so it had a theme it had a story a mission a, a mission yeah and it got better but i mean obviously it was me with a camera and you know with a with a the mothership uh, editing, I edited hours and hours of videos. It was for, it was initially for advertising, but then I started kind of enjoying it, you know, I started enjoying this, making the thumbnails and the descriptions and, and the, the, you know, shooting. I'd, I'd watch a lot of vlogs and I'd try and imitate what they were doing, what mm-hmm. Casey Neistat was doing, what, you know, what, uh, Casey, I mean, I think he was just like everybody's role model for vlogging. For sure. Even so, for me, even for me. Man. Yeah, so yeah. I, was, I copied him like uh, generically, you know, it was like he put in a time lapse to start the day and then it was like him walking around. It's very good in the yeah. yeah, so I did the same kind of thing and, you know, and uh, and yeah, long story short, um, you know, Cam's Corona, um, you know, I had much bigger plans in the beginning of 2020, I think like many people did. So I was going to, you know, we had just opened our first office. We were going to set up a podcasting space. We were going to do loads of filming and vlogging and all of that kind of stuff and interviewing people. And then that kind of just went down the drain. We all went home, uh, started vlogging from the house and bringing old old videos and, and managed to, to sell some tours for this year, and uh, which are now being pushed for, for next year. But anyway, you know, we, we did it. And now came to the, the conclusion where... I was like, you know, the only reason that it's not working is because I'm the one who's doing it and I need to to get it to the next level. It's got to be, you know, pro. It's got to be good. And that's, you know, obviously where I spoke with you and, and um, you know, and now it's the consistency, consistency is there. So now it's, you, you know, it's up to you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> to, to, no pressure. <laughs> Under to, pressure. Yeah. <laughs> to back upload to uh, on Mondays at seven o'clock, you know, and the quality yeah, yeah. is amazing. And, and now I can concentrate on building a good show mm-hmm. and keeping it entertaining. And, and the idea is to, to entertain, to motivate and to teach. So I think that's kind of like the, 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 the good mixture, you know. People want to be entertained, but they also want to be learned. They want to learn something. Yeah, you have to give um, value, you know. Yeah. yeah, and then they're gonna want to, you know, stick. They stick around for personality. So it's gotta, you know. And I'm a optimistic person. I'm I'm always moving, so I want to portray that, and um, uh, so that's the idea behind the vlog. And yeah, we're promoting everything Madeira. My idea is that by me promoting everything else, mm-hmm. that I'm ultimately promoting myself as somebody who's helping everybody who knows everybody who 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 is an expert you know so that the the one person that i do want to come with me is going to be like you know what yeah i'm staying in that hotel because of that guy and i'm doing this trip because of that guy and i'm eating this food because of that guy like i want him to take me out so that i can learn even more you know that's the the idea kind of very thing. interesting and the uh, short-term idea yeah, 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 cool. How we cool, won't cool. get into the long one because that's uh, I'll just <laughs> stay here yeah. forever. Okay, very nice. So yeah, 
let's end in a high note. Um, I have a question that I want you guys to answer uh, shortly, and then we and then we we will pass to the secret uh, question that only our patrons will have access. So, if you want to help us, uh, I'm I'm changing. Let's see Portuguese now. Se quiseres apoiar a relampada, uh, se gostas daquilo que fazemos na cultura, uh, daqui a pouco faremos uma pergunta mistério que só apenas os nossos patronos irão ter acesso. Se quiseres apoiar-nos, mais informações em patreon.com barra relampada. Apenas um euro por mês, ou mais do que isso, uh, é sempre muito importante para nós, portanto, muito obrigado aos nossos patronos. So, the last question for the, the YouTube video is what, what is your favorite place in Madeira? Ben, uh, I, I have two. You have two, okay. Give I have two. Give us two. Uh, Fanal and Faja, Faja dos Padres. Ah, Faja, Faja dos Padres, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for both different reasons. I mean, uh, Fanal looks like Lord of the Rings, you know, yeah, with yeah, the earth yeah, and everything. The, yeah. Something is happening here for sure. Like, uh, every people I bring here feel, uh, felt something. Can be my parents, clients, uh, even me every time I go. It's like uh, you feel the magnetism oh, of, yeah. of the island, the earth, the, the thing, the, tr the tree seems spe uh, talking, speaking. <laughs> it's it's uh, crazy. And uh, Faja, Faja, because I think it's an uh, underrated place in Madeira, and I think it's a piece of heaven where the time stop. If I want oh, to... the time stop? Yeah, yeah. The time stop, stop. You go down here with, and you just, like, you are here, and it seems like nothing around is more uh, important after that like it's very nice yeah so, so for now e fazendo os padres yes. uh, jeff the oh. best your favorite place it's a tough one so if if i don't if i don't say my home right okay. i got i got a good, got a great home <laughs> so uh i love being at home and i love being around uh, my new family this is of course my uh, my girlfriend's family, but uh, where I live, I absolutely adore it and I love it and I love being there. Um, but if I didn't say that, I would probably, the way I would define my favorite place is if I had to spend a whole day there, um, I would say Bika da Cana. Bika da Cana. I love oh, Bika da Cana. Why Bika da Cana? Um, I've seen probably my, my favorite sun, sunsets in Madeira was there. Uh, during one of my other projects, the big walk, uh, two years ago or 2000, 2019, the sunset we saw in 2019 at Bika Cana was by far the best sunset I've ever seen in Madeira. And I've seen a couple of sunrises there as well. We've seen, uh, yeah, one yeah I was about to say, we, yeah, have yeah. we have a story with that spot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do have a, a big story with that spot, uh, which is on the vlog as well. You guys can check. <laughs> but, check uh, it out, hit the road, hit the road <laughs> vlog. When, when we were trying to shoot the, the Neo Eyes. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Comment, yeah. I mean, comment, yeah. everyone has a story of Neo Eyes. Yeah, yeah as we took the, the, Even the me. we took the longest possible path. <laughs> oh, get, my God, that. dude. And the most expensive <laughs> as well. <laughs> Because I yeah. didn't, uh, you know, maybe people don't remember, but I actually bought two tents for... To camp? To camp, because the guys... <laughs> Just to catch the new eyes. Yeah, because, uh, <laughs> the, you know, Alejandro and, uh, you know, they and wanted Tanya to camp. Were there, yeah. And you, I invited you guys. Yeah. And I didn't have enough tents. And, I, and they were like, do we need... We don't have tents. I was like, don't worry. So I bought tents for them. <laughs> and uh, and I brought the, and okay. all the espetada and the beers. And no. I mean, it was fun, no? Oh, it was great. And, and uh, funny enough, I got clients for camping like three weeks later. Interesting. Yeah. So you guys so, have uh, now three places uh, to yeah, visit. Exactly. Uh, yeah. For now, Fajando os Padres and Bica da e Bica da Cara. And we e Andréia, qual é o teu <laughs> sítio favorito? And if you need Não it. sabes. <laughs> Funchal. Funchal é um sítio fixe. Não Studio 21. Yeah. Studio 21 oh, is Andréia's favorite wrong. place ever. <laughs> oh, no. I got it wrong. The studio. The big studio. Yeah. Okay. So uh, thank you guys for being here with me. Thank, thank you, you for our conversation. Uh, I think uh, our public, our audience uh, liked it very much. So, okay, go check out uh, Ben, Benjamin uh, Artwork. Yes. Yeah? Benjamin Artwork and uh, uh, Madeira with Jeff or Hit the Road Madeira. Very cool. Okay, see you at the next Relampada. <laughs>
in your opinion, how will people travel in a post-COVID world? Who are you asking? Both. Do you want wants, to start? Wants to start. No, go first. <laughs> okay. How will people travel yeah. in a post-COVID world? In your opinion. World? Okay, well, 